Miranda here with you with this week's Trots TV News Update and our first story is on the two-year-old filly She's All Apples who's been sent out for a well-deserved spell after winning the Group 3 Ready to Run Stakes at Menangle on Saturday night. She earned over $100,000 in prize money in her first season of racing after also winning the Breeders' Challenge final last month. She'll spend three months at owner Paul Shipley's property on a luscious 25 acres and then head back to David Thorne's stables for a three-year-old preparation. David believes she has a big season ahead with Oaks races and also being uh, paid up for the Breeders' Challenge edition. Jake Sports Riders getting home okay on the outside, but it's still Manly Mac, the leader. She's all apples, knuckles down to the task. Jake Sports Riders out after the pair. A three-way thriller going to the lead in the centre is She's All Apples. Yes, She's All Apples gets there just over. Amanda Turnbull was in the winner's circle again at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Tuesday with a catch drive on My Cha-Ching Cha-Ching. It was Amanda's 101st winner in New South Wales for the season. She actually drove her century of winners last week at the same track on board Major Dan, a pacer she trains herself. What's remarkable about, remarkable about this feat is this is her seventh consecutive season that Amanda has achieved this goal and she's only 26 years old. She's following in the footsteps of her idol Karen Manning who uh, just last Saturday night notched her 16th century at Melton. The other driver centurions in New South Wales for this season so far include Maddie Rue, Todd McCarthy, Robert Morris and also Chris Geary. Paris Pepperell's trying to run on near the inside and down the outside is Edge Hill, but it's all on Thunder Road. It's making a mess of them. It's four, five, six in front, cruising down to win it. And on Thunder Road, the back marker will bolt in and beat a game, our summer vacation, Paris Pepperell, Edge Hill, and then Glen Ferry Dreamer, Iona Gritter alone again. There was another dead heat at Newcastle on Monday afternoon, and it'll be one that will be very memorable for young Rainswoman Lily Hosking. Lily drove the aptly named pacer, lively Lily to victory for her grandfather Robin Hosking and it was her first win in the sulky even though she had to share the honours with driver Brad Elder who drove Juice Star. Lily was just as thrilled though. Lily is 17, she's still at high school and she drove in the midi trotters at a very early age. She's only been driving in races professionally since last May and has so far had 18 drives. Never know Aussie hit the lead. Do Star Z after Ed. Lively Lily and my late best mate are getting out late, but Do Star hit the lead. Coming at it hard as Lively Lily. Do Star Lively Lily. Oh, Lively Lily's dive. Maybe Lively Lily her nose. Not sure. We see the return of On Thunder Road to the New South Wales trotting ranks at Tabcourt Park Menangle this Saturday night. Currently, he's the $1.90 favourite with tab fixed odds to win the precocious trotters free for all and is the only horse off the second row for the Group 3 mile feature. The pacing bred gelding has had 43 starts as a trotter and has won 22 races in that time. Last fortnight, he won the Something About Maori free for all down at Melton, Victoria, and tra trainer Darren Hancock intimated that he plans to head south for other trot feature races in the new year, such as the Great Southern Star with the Nice Horse. Paris Pepperell's trying to run on near the inside and down the outside is Edge Hill, but it's all on Thunder Road. It's making a mess of them. It's four, five, six in front, cruising down to win it. And on Thunder Road, the back marker will bolt in and beat a game, our summer vacation, Paris Pepperell, Edge Hill, and then Glen Ferry Dreamer, Iona Gritter alone again. There's also a Group 3 free-for-all for the Pacers at Menangle on Saturday night, which is race 6 on the card. The early favourite with tab-fixed odds for that race is Yaya's Hotspot, who's currently $3.20. And the second elect is Alta Jerome, who's drawn well in Barrier 2. Others in the market include Freyberg, Mac Beauty and also Better Bet Black. Yaya's Hotspot earns his favourite favouritism, having drawn very well in Barrier 4 and also being in top form too, having won his last two starts, including this very impressive victory at Newcastle at the beginning of the month where he rated 152.9. Three lengths clear from Miss Artistic Tara, Prince Kai and Burning Cash. They'll all box away for the miners, but Yaya's hot spot back to Newcastle and back into the winner's circle, won it by three. Oh, good go the miners. Prince Kai ducking through in the centre lake. Miss Artistic Tara or Burning Cash. Three-way go for the minor end. I'll be back next week with another Trots TV news update. In the meantime, uh, stay tuned with all the news at the Harness Media Centre.